You can pinpoint any location on Earth using an imaginary grid of lines running north to south and east to west. Latitude measures how far north or south a point is from the equator, which is an imaginary line on the Earth's surface halfway between the north and south poles. Longitude measures how far east or west a point is from a specific meridian, which is a line of longitude running from the North Pole to the South Pole. Today, we measure longitude from the prime meridian, zero degrees longitude, which runs through Greenwich. The latitude of Greenwich is 51.5 degrees north. Its longitude is zero degrees. Washington DC in the USA is 38.9 degrees north and 77 degrees west. Sydney in Australia is 33.9 degrees south and 151.2 degrees east. It's simple in theory, but these imaginary lines are not much use unless you can work out your own latitude and longitude, which gives you the actual position of your ship. Once you know where you are, you can work out what direction to sail in with the help of a chart. Sailors have had tools for working out latitude since the 1400s. Latitude can be found from the position of the sun above the horizon. At midday, the sun is at its highest point in the sky. By measuring the sun's height above the horizon at midday, or the height of a star at night, sailors could work out how far north or south they were. But they did not know their longitude, how far east or west they had travelled. The theory of how to find longitude was understood. The Earth turns through 360 degrees of longitude every 24 hours. So every hour, it turns through 15 degrees. If you are 15 degrees west of Greenwich, midday happens an hour later. If you're 30 degrees west of Greenwich, midday happens two hours later. If you know the time where you are and the time at Greenwich, you can work out how many degrees east or west you are. This is your longitude. The time where you are, your local time, can be found from the sun's position in the sky. But the problem is knowing the time at Greenwich when you are hundreds or thousands of miles away, on a ship in the middle of the ocean.